Hi, I'm LaTanya Denise, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to do a review of my new Juvia's Place Wahala palette I just received. And I'm also going to share a little information about how to prevent uh, Alzheimer's disease. Um, so, you know, it's, it's hereditary and um, we might can prevent it a little, but we might just get it anyway. So, um, with that, let's get into it. So, I'm going to start out. Um, so, I did my brows off camera. So, I'm going to just start with the face here a little bit. And kind of cover up these little spots here. Blend that in. So this is LA Pro Concealer Orange Shade. Next, I'm going to prime the face with this um, NYX primer. A little goes a long way, so you don't really have to put it on much. Currently, um, a caretaker uh, for my mom who um, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's about roughly 12 years ago. Um, so um, I would say for 10 of those 12 years, um, I, I've been living with her and um, has basically been her caretaker uh, along with um, the help of my son. Um, so today I was just kind of thinking, um, you know, maybe I should just kind of do some research on how to prevent it a little. Because it seems like every time I forget a name or something, I'm like, oh my God, I must have Alzheimer's. Um, so it is hereditary. Um, so I have come to terms with the fact that, you know, I might eventually get it one day. Um, but um, it is things you can do to hopefully um, either slow it down or maybe for prevent from getting it. So um, at this point, seeing as though I kind of watched my mother um, with that disease for a long time now, and um, basically the disease kind of just takes you away slowly. Um, so I'm just trying to prevent um, as much as possible. Um, getting it myself um, I know it's I have a you know it's a high probability because it is hereditary but I'm still trying to take care of myself to prevent from getting it um, again it just takes you away really slowly so you just you start forgetting little things and then eventually um, you get lost in driving um, eventually, you have to, you know, you can't drive anymore. Um, you start to forget, you know, your phone number, address. Um, this is just some of the things that, that I've seen in, along the way in terms of progression. So, um, then you, you, you start to get seasons mixed up. Um, let me see, so just some subtle things. Um, you, for, you start to forget people's names. You start to forget the relationship. So at this point, um, I don't even know if my mother knows uh, who I am in the house. I know she knows I'm familiar. Um, she knows that I'm safe. But I don't know at this point if she knows that I am her daughter and what my name is. Um, so that is something that slowly... Um, started to, to happen as well. So I guess I've kind of come to terms with that or have been able to come to terms with the fact that 
um, you know, she is my mother, but we're, we're not really functioning in those roles anymore. Um, it was hard in the beginning to know that she didn't know who I was, but I mean, along the way, you just accept it. You just, you know, realize and accept the fact that just to making sure that she's healthy, safe, that she's taken care of, that's the most important thing, not, um, you know, if she knows me or not, because, um, you know, that's not really important right now, I guess, anymore. So, um, that's where we're at. Um, Currently, um, she is, you know, not really knowing how to um, maneuver her way within the house anymore. And this is a house, you know, that she's, you know, had for years. So um, she'll say things like, um, I have to go to the bathroom. So she wants me to pretty much show her where the bathroom is. So, you know, that was something that just kind of started recently. Um... So, I pretty much just have to go with the flow. So, sometimes I get, I start to feel a little sorry for myself. Like, this weekend is really nice out. It's about 90 degrees. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm doing a caretaker role by myself this weekend. Um, and, you know, this is my days off. So, I have to find things to do within the house to, you know, keep myself occupied. Um... So just doing videos and doing makeup kind of just um, helps to help me to feel a little better. Um, I do have a, a, a puppy that I got back in October and her name is Bailey and she is a lot of company for me. Um, and she's a, you know, a distraction from you know me feeling like, oh, I, I can't really go out, I can't really do much. Um, so that helps as well. So. So back to this palette that I got, um, the Wahala, I think I'm saying that right, by Julia's Place. Um, so I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is uh, Woke. And um, so I'm gonna try to match what I have on today. So I'm gonna start out with this color here. Um, so, again, I do get kind of fearful of actually getting the disease. Um, but what helps me is that knowing is that um, high blood pressure and high cholesterol runs really rampant also in my family. So I've been able to um, keep myself from actually having that by um, exercising. Uh, I think I did share that um, I was bodybuilding for about 10 years. Um, I've always really been active even, even prior to that with dancing and, you know, in the church and, you know, African dance and things like that. So I've always been active. Um, so, in keeping yourself active, um, I don't smoke. So, you, avoiding smoking is a is a way to hopefully prevent it. Um, again, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Um, making sure that you know you you keep your sugar. Um, regulated because you, you want to make sure you you don't um, become a diabetic that can trigger it um, I try to you know keep my mental health intact by um, like I said now when you know if I feel like I'm getting stressed out or getting a little you know discouraged or just feeling sorry for yourself or whatever um, just making sure you're taking care of your your mental state so i just try to do you know some self-care um you know if i feel like i i have to get away or whatever or out of the house then you know i just let my son know um and you know he's always helpful and and giving me a break so um i try to do what i can to maintain my 
mental health, you know, not, you know, trying to uh, prevent from getting depressed. Um, just keeping myself busy, uh, trying to just make the best of the situation. So, um, you know, now that I have my puppy, you know, we take walks. Um, all of the, I just started thinking the other day that all of the things that I I really like to do in the past, like go to church, go to the movies, go to the gym. Um, uh, because of the, the virus, I can't really do that. A lot of things that I used to do anymore. Um, a lot of things is on Zoom and, you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, that's the way to, to be connected. But again, you still kind of get depressed because you're not really able to, um, really have that social contact or, you know, direct contact with, with people. They encourage 150 minutes of exercise, including aerobics, a week. So, I mean, even if you walk, just take a walk. Um, I do have a Fitbit that, you know, I try to make sure that, you know, I'm tracking, um, you know, how many steps I make a day um, to make sure that I'm staying active. Um, and, you know, the fact that, you know, I can't go to the gym, you know, I don't want to have that be my excuse to, you know, gain weight. So this blue shade that I, I put on is called Love. And then I went um, in with I think it's over savvy right here as a transition shade so I, I used that up here so I, I was kind of talking and lost track what I was doing so I put the love here Next, I'm going to go into my face with this foundation, NARS foundation, in shade Manaus. So, um, in terms of ways to prevent Alzheimer's. Um, it, it, it's also important to um, keep your alcohol at a minimum and then also really try to eat a balanced diet with fruits, vegetables, um, and you know try to cut back on a lot of fast food if you can. So I know that's kind of hard for some people but Diet is important, what you eat. It's about, you know, whether or not I, I will get it, the disease. You know, especially, like I said, if, you know, if I forget something or, you know, because, you know, you can get it at an early, early age. It's called early onset. Um, so, but just like that, I can get anything else. So, I mean, we can't just, you know, live our lives, um, wor being worried about whether or not we're going to get a, a disease. I could, I could get anything. Um, we just have to, you know, just using tart tape shape and shade deep. And this is concealer. And I'll also go in with um, tan sand. The 
it's a little shade lighter right up under the eye here. Then down the center of the nose. Up over the brow, just in the center. And right under the lip. So I'm going to blow that um, with my fan a little bit just to dry it. Because I, I actually want it to look like a like it's highlighted, not like it's it's going to like blend right in with my foundation shade. So it, it just needs to be a little dry. I, I saw this technique um, with another uh, makeup artist on YouTube. Now I'm going to blend that in with my beauty blender and I'm going to wet my sponge a little bit with the MAC Fix Plus. Um, you can use water if you want to. Um, I just I just use that because it's, it's right here. Now I'm going to go in with um, this Laura Mercier uh, translucent setting powder. to bake a little bit. black walnut for contouring. So I'm going to just put this on the side of the nose a little. And on the other side. On the chin. On the cheek. side of my brush and I'm kind of tapping up. to set or bake. So I've said on um, previous uh, videos that um, anytime you use a cream, you're always supposed to follow it with a powder. So I don't I've learned, I learned that um, in one of my makeup classes, but I don't hear a lot of people saying it. So if you see somebody doing something and you see them doing it, but you don't know why they're doing it, sometimes it's kind of hard for you to wrap your arms around why you should be doing that. I, at least that's me. I need to know why. So when I learned that when I put on cream foundation, that I'm always supposed to follow up with powder. So if you notice that when I contour, I use the cream. So now I'm going to go in with um, a um, powder bronzer over the contour, cream contour that I put on. You know, you might miss some steps. Um, you know, even with the eye, um, I started out with a cream base. 
um, first before I put the powder um, eyeshadow on top because if you just put eyeshadow on without the base, um, it's not going to bring out the color and it's not going to blend like it should either you know, to see, you know, the purpose behind it. So now, now that I put on the contour, now that I put the powder over the cream contour, I am going to now put some blush slightly over the contour. So this is NARS blush that I just got. And it is shade Aroused. And I thought this was a really cute color. So we want to put a little bit here. And it's always between the nose and the eye. You're not going all the way up into the hair. And you're not going lower than the nose either. It's just right here. And you want to tap, tap, tap so that it's blended good and then it's not like you just threw it on there. And everything should just blend in together. It, I don't know if you've ever seen anybody and you, you just be like, wow, you just you just threw that blush on your face. <laughs> uh, you could just, the only thing you see is blush. Mm, that's a little too much. Thanks. So you just want to have it just a little color, but not that much. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go up under the eye. And I'm going to use a small brush. Um... And I'm just going to put um, the same color that I used on the lid. And I'm going to just put that up under. just where you have the arch. And then I'm gonna go right here. Just to bring the eye out a little bit.
think I did pretty good with that wing. video if so like comment subscribe again if you have any tips for me um regarding being a caretaker or um anything about alzheimer's if you um know anything about that um i would welcome the feedback and information um i really like my new palette i like the colors um, luckily I was able to 